This is Karen with Grace B Creations. It is Sunday evening and I am doing a unboxing of a Happy Meal that I got from a subby. Her name is Deb. And before I start with the Happy Meal, I am going to just show you really quick. I remember showing you guys this project that I started. It was the piece of paper that I made into a little flip open that has like when you open it up, it has like a nice lace frame. Um, I love how this came out. I told you about this yesterday when I was decorating the book and I wasn't sure if I was going to use it for the book inside the book or if I was going to do it for a topper. Well, I have decided to use it for a topper for a slim journal I'm going to do next and I added some lace to it and oh my goodness, this looks gorgeous and I, I might add a little more something on top because I'm going to make this into a topper but I am absolutely loving how this is coming out. I added a little tiny piece of Velcro right there because when you open it up, it kind of pops open. Like if you don't have the Velcro there, it just sits like that. So I just add the little piece of Velcro just so it sits down nice and straight. So I, I just love, love this topper. And so I can't wait to add it onto a new Slim Journal. So I just wanted to share that with you that I added some ruffle on the side. It's looking so gorgeous. I love it. So, I am going to share with you a happy mail that I got from a fan, from a subby. Um, her name is Deb. She sent me a box before. I sent her one, um, but she had told me that she was going to send me something else small. And her version of small <laughs> is not small. Her version of small is, like I said yesterday, open up the box and everything pops out. Let me just show you really quick how full this box was, okay? I'm gonna try and fit it into the camera. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is how it was when it was closed. Okay, so picture this, and then I open it up, and then this pops, like literally it popped. I think even this popped out, the letter that she wrote me. So I'm gonna share with you all the beautiful things that she gave me. She said that she got some from an estate sale. Um, I'm going to read to you what she wrote. And what I love is she, instead of writing this inside the card, like she put it inside the card, um, she, she gave me the card, which is such a cute card. What an adorable little card this is. And so she wrote, on a butterfly back paper. She wrote, here's a sample, a sample. <laughs> this is a sample. <laughs> She's such a darling. Um, here's a sample of my recent finds at the charity thrift shop. Okay, it wasn't an estate sale, it was a charity thrift shop. Also some paper that is coffee dyed with stencils. I had fun making. And the buttons are all from a tin my grandmother had in her sewing room. Definitely vintage. She used an old style treadle sewing machine. Hope you enjoy what I sent. If you want to do a happy mail video from a subby, that's fine with me. Your choice. I'm glad I had some lace. I'm glad I have a lace lover to share this to share with. He <laughs> he hugs Deb. Thank you so much, Deb, for whatever I'm about to see what's in this box. I know it's going to be nothing short of amazing. So I'm going to do a quick haul. I hope that everybody will enjoy watching this. Um, so here's, she always puts everything really neatly into packages. Like, so presenting. I like to do the same thing. I put everything into clear bags as well. But everything she's sending me is vintage, so. That is really, that's vintage. I remember my I remember a long time ago when I was younger my my mother had a blanket that had these little tassels on the end. It reminds me of that. Beautiful. I think she wrote in her email that um she's going to send me some stuff that she doesn't that she, I hope that she, I don't have some of these laces. I collect lace so but I'm um, from what I can see in the packaging, I don't have a lot of this lace. And that is hard because I collect a lot of lace. This is gorgeous. This is a different kind of style. I have never seen this one before. 
That is really pretty. Oh wow, I don't have too many beige colored laces. That's really nice. I don't I don't have too many like goldish beige colors. That's I really should. You know what? This would actually match perfectly with this. I should have, oh man, I would have done that. Well, this goes good too, but if I didn't put this on, I would have used this for edging. But maybe I can do something else in here as well. But that matches perfectly with my new book. I'll be definitely using some of that for the book. I'm gonna try and keep it like it was presented. Ooh, I'm loving the colors. I'm trying to I'm trying to venture out into like bolder colors. Like I love the the the, the off whites and the and the um the vintagey you know um, whites and beiges and um, but I'm loving that. That's really pretty. And no, I do not have this. The pinks. I'm into pinks. Black is definitely a color I don't have. You know what's funny? I think black is gorgeous in a lace. I don't know why I don't use black more. Why not? I mean, it's gorgeous. I always just go with the whites and the beiges because it just reminds me of vintage. But you know what? Black is also vintage too, and I never really thought of it that way. I never go with the darker colors for my books. Ooh, we have navy blue. That's another color that's vintage you look in as well. I love the flowers on that. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. There's a lot of lace here. And of course, we gotta have pink. Love the pink. That's gorgeous, oh my goodness. I think this is, this. is this the same as the, it's a little bit, is it the same as the, hold on, let me just look. Yeah, it's pretty much, pretty close, not exactly, but it's pretty close. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I'm gonna find a place for all this. Okay. Oh, I don't have that either. I do not have that, I've never seen that one before. Wow. This is just like the one that I, is it the white one? Oops, yep. This is just like the white one. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. Ooh. What is this, like a, um, what color is this? Is it like a, not orange, but it's more like a peach. That's like a peach color. These are gorgeous. I will definitely be digging into these. Love that gold beige color. And I definitely should start trying to use darker colors in my books as well. You can tell these are vintage by how they smell. When you when you smell like vintage, you can tell that, you know that smell from like an old book? It's kind of like that. You can tell it's vintage. Okay. I'm gonna do it that way. Ooh. Might as well start with that one. I don't have this one either. Wow, these are so unique. Oh, I thought I had this one. I was like, ooh, ooh. Nope, I don't have this one either. I have something similar to this, but it's not the same thing. Let me see if it's just in my eyes. If it's, I just wanna see, hold on. It's pretty close, but it's not the same thing. If I can't find it within this drawer, I'm not gonna look for it. I just wanna show you. 
what I thought it was. Oh, I think it's this drawer here. Yep. I thought it was this. Pretty close. But no, that's... It's a little different. Yay, I don't have it. Okay. We are one bag. I don't have any of those laces. Look at this. I don't have that one either. That is gorgeous. I That looks like... um. Um, what's it called? I, eyelet, I like an eyelet fabric, but it's like an eyelet lace. That's really pretty. I don't have that one. Ooh, this looks like little buttons. That's cute. Look at that. Isn't that unique? Then we have mint green. I don't have that one. Pretty. Look at all these gorgeous. These are beautiful. Wow, you really got. I can't see how this is a sample. How much did you get? You must have gotten a ton if this is just a sample. I always want to find these great estate sales. I told my husband I want to start going to some estate sales, but down here in um, Georgia, they always start on a Friday, sometimes on Thursday. And um, the, the, the times that I really want to go with my husband is on Saturdays. And by the time Saturday comes around, I don't want to go to an estate sale because everything's already picked through. You know, so I have session on Friday mornings. Every Friday morning I have session, and I love that. That is so pretty. Um, so by the time I get out of session, get home, see if my husband's free, those estate sales are picked through. So it's hard to get into any real good estate sales unless they start on a Saturday. I left this out for a reason. I wonder why I left that out and I didn't put it in. Maybe I just want to use it in my book tonight. I might be looking into my book a little bit. All right, next bag. Ooh, look at this purple. It's violet. This looks like a, a big lace. Oh, wow. This is, this is shabby chic. Oh, this is going to be perfect for a shabby chic book. Oh my goodness. I want to do another shabby chic book. I did one and I love it. I definitely want to do another one. Which book was my shabby chic? If I look over at my books, I think it was one of the ones that I sold. With the little girl on the front. I sold one of my books with the little girl swing on the front. I think that one was shabby chic. A lot of mine are vintage. Well, no, the window one that I have. The window front book is kind of shabby chic. That's really pretty. All right, that's this one. I can't believe all these trims. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Like this just makes me so happy because like I said, I'm not able to get to a lot of the estate sales. So I miss out on all this great vintage stuff. Look at this pink trim. I'm going to light it out just like this. So you guys can see it while I'm opening them. Ooh, that's pretty. That's like an eyelet. Um, eyelet fabric with like um, the trim of that. That's pretty. I don't have this one either. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. I might have this one, but I'm not sure. I might have the beige version of this one, but still amazing. I love little trims that I can use on the smaller books. Don't have that one, that's pretty. I definitely don't have this. Look at that. Look at the little roses on top of that. 
That's pretty. And we have another, this is kind of like a sea, a sea green blue. I love this color blue. And we have a ivory. Then we have a blue and white. That's pretty. And we have this one here. That's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, these are beautiful. Love this one. I love the pink one. I have these little spools that I just um, printed up today on my Cricut. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram story or my um, my shorts video on YouTube. I made a bunch of spools today and I'm going to be wrapping these up in the spool so I can put them in my drawers so I can easily access them. Oop, I just heard some thunder. Thunder, thunder? Oh yeah, okay. I just totally ripped that. That's okay, I'm gonna be putting them on the spools anyways after this video is done. All right, next package. Oh my goodness. Now this is something I don't have much of. Fabric. Fabric squares. I need fabric. I do not have much fabric. I used to go to Joann's all the time and buy fabric, but whenever I go to Joann's or Hobby Lobby, I go straight for the lace. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I love this. Oh my goodness, that reminds me of like old antique wallpaper. Ooh, look at this style. These look like wallpaper. These are pretty. Purple. Oh my goodness, these are gonna be perfect for like making the buttons or the fabric top swat um, swatches. Polka dot. This is like a quilt kind of. Ooh, I love that color. Love the green, greenish yellow. That's pretty. This reminds me of that, um, what's that style? Oh, I forget. That person who makes those purses, Bradley something Bradley? Vera Bradley. Oh, these would be perfect for like those little, um, what I can do with this is I can cut them and I can stamp on it. Those are good for that. This fabric is perfect for that. Green. Ooh, look at the writing on this. That's unique. I wonder if the fabric came that way or if somebody actually stamped on this. That's unique. Ooh, this is old fashioned looking. These are perfect. I love these. Thank you. I didn't I don't have much fabric. That's perfect. I'm gonna have fun with those. Okay. Next. Oops. Oh, look at the gray. I love dusty gray and dusty blue. That's really pretty. I want to look at this. Oh my goodness. Is this a table runner? Hold on. Clear the board. This is a table runner. Look at how gorgeous that is. 
This reminds me of my grandmother's old, um, she had this antique box that she had like this fabric over, it looked, it reminds me of that. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, I'll definitely be finding a place for that in my, in my shabby room. That's gorgeous. We have pink. Pretty. Oh, that's unique. That's different. Some wide lace. I've never seen that design before. That's unique. That's beautiful. We have a deep ivory. Never seen that design either. Wow, you hit the nail on the head. On the nail on, is that how you say it? You, you hit the nail on the head? That is so beautiful. Look, I love wide lace like that. That is really pretty. Okay. Ooh, another gold colored, another gold beige color lace. Oh my gosh. I love this one. This one's really pretty. Oh, I like that one. This is definitely unique looking. This reminds me of like the 70s. That retro, that retro look. Okay. Wow. These are gorgeous. I'm so excited about this. This is so cool. I feel like it's Christmas morning. <laughs> okay, what's this? Is this sorry? Is this sorry silk? This is, looks like this is sorry silk, I think. This is Sorry Silk Ribbon. Look at all the colors. Look at the paisley. Ooh, I love these. I need ribbon, so this is perfect. Look at all the different styles. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, these will look really nice on some tags. I'm gonna have to go through all the different colors. I like this pink. Ooh, I'm loving that. I didn't think that Sorry Silk came in all those different colors. Love that. Look at the green. Wow, that's unique. Oh, here's the buttons she was talking about. Ooh. I'm not going to take them out, but I just want to look really quick. I have a jar just for these. Look at that pink button. That one got my eye right away. I love looking at like unique buttons that I've. We have a clear pink one. Wow, these are definitely like antique. Ooh, I'm gonna have fun looking through all these. That is so special that it came from the grandmother's sewing box. That just, that's awesome. I love that. Look at that. That is neat. Look at the purple one. I'm going to have fun looking through all those. Okay. What is this? 100 year old printed. 
1917 and 1923. Do I even want to open this? I'm scared. I don't want to rip it. Ooh, it has that smell. Wow. Ooh, that feels... Ooh, that feels... 100 year old. That is unique. I don't want to, like, touch it because it's like... 1923, how did it stay so preserved? The Himmel, 1917 Himmel? Music. I am a pilgrim. Elijah's God still lives. Ooh, this is beautiful. Ooh, look at that. Look at how, look at that. It's like... It's so old, it's like falling apart. How cool is that? Suitable for framing? Well, that's the name of the poem. This is so cool. That is awesome. I love having some unique old... Oh, this is so cool. Wait a minute, where's the front of that? Right there. I want to put it like it was. Thank you for sending this to me. I love that. I was afraid to open it. Oh, I didn't go in there. I have no perception of size, obviously. I'm like, I'm trying to fit that into this. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Deb, for sending me those. Those are awesome. Then we have this. Oh, these like little cutouts. Does that say what? Freebie from scrapbooking with me. Scrapbooking. Oh, is that scrapbooker? Is that Edie? Is that Edie's site? Yeah, scrapbooking with me. I think that's Edie's site. These look like those little pockets. Journal pockets. That's cool. A roll of wallpaper. Oh, you can tell that's old. Look at that. That's cool. Nice. I love wallpaper. I also collect wallpaper too. You should see all the wallpaper books I have. I have like right in front of me in the chest that's underneath my TV. It's all filled with huge wallpaper sample books. I've pulled a lot of the samples out already, but there's still a ton in there. Here's the stencil coffee dye paper she was talking about. She, she dyed these herself. Look at the stencils with the coffee. Whoa, that's strong. Woo, I'm gonna wake up just smelling that. I'm gonna be up until tomorrow. Wow, that's strong. You can like the minute I open the bag, the smell of coffee just hit me. Whew. It's a Folgers moment. Okay, that is beautiful. She did a beautiful job on these. Look at the stenciling on these. Look at the butterflies. Wow, this will look great in a journal. Like if you do a long journal, like um, fold one of these over like this. Like that, right? Look at this. I'm just giving an example, right? Add it into a book like that. Look at how beautiful that'll look. And it comes on to the other side. That is gorgeous. I'll definitely be using these for my journal. Look at all the designs. 
I like how it shows through on the other side. These are beautiful. You need to go sell some of these on Etsy, girl. People would love to buy these. Look at how pretty this will look folded over. Look at how gorgeous that is. I'm going to be using these in the book. Definitely. Love it. You are talented when it comes to coffee dyeing stenciling. I don't have the patience for that. I think I dyed paper like once. And I was like, nope, I'm done. That's when I first started journaling. Oh, it is pouring out. Can you guys hear that? I'm going to be silent for a minute. Listen. Can you hear that? I wonder what the radar shows. I don't know if I have my weather app radar or not. Let me see if I have it open. I want to look to see what the radar says really quick. This is what I do when weather comes up. Let's see what the radar says. Ooh, look at that. I think we have a cell coming right over us. Yeah, we have a small cell right over us. We have all this coming towards us tonight. I think it's heading in that direction. Oh yeah, we'll be having some storms tonight, definitely. Sorry, I had to geek out on you. I just wanted to see what was going on outside. <laughs> all right. Oh my goodness, look at the ruffle on this. This is so antique looking. This is like a shabby chic antique. Look at that. Look at the detail. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I love this. Thank you so much. There's like one, two more. Right. I hope this video inspires you guys to go out to some estate sales or some thrift stores because this is the kind of stuff you can get. Look at the look at the trim on that. My grandmother used to have stuff like this. She used to like have her her curtains wrapped in these. And look at this thick. I don't want to undo the whole thing, but look at this. Let me see if I can just yeah. I don't want to unwrap it because it's pretty. Look at that. I love this color. This is gonna end up being my new favorite color. Vintage beige. I love that. Oh. Okay. One more. One more. Ooh, it looks like some fabric. More fabric. Ooh, that's unique looking. Look at that. That's unique. I think I saw some wallpaper almost like this. Oh, I love eyelet fabric. I love this kind of fabric. These look really nice on books. Ooh, look at the flowers. This looks like wallpaper. Ooh, this definitely looks like wallpaper. This looks like something from the 60s. That's gorgeous. Can you picture like cutting a little piece and putting it on the top of your book or tag? 
Oh, this is thick. Look at the detail in that. This is like a really thick material. That would make a nice book cover too. <gasps> oh. My goodness. Look at this. I don't, I can't. Is it supposed to be like this? Like, or is this already, is this supposed to be grunged up like this? Or is this, is this like this? Or is this from wear and tear and old? I think it's supposed to be. I think this is supposed to look like this. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. That is the most unique. It's not velvet, but it's not cotton either. I can't explain, and it feels like a leather. It's hard to explain the material this is. It almost looks like somebody dropped a bunch of water on it. But isn't that unique? I love the look of this right here. I'm definitely going to do something with that. Diamond style. That's pretty. Then we have some lace. Well, you did it, Deb. You managed to get me everything that I do not have one of, which is quite amazing because me collecting lace, it's hard to find. But like I said, I don't, I don't collect a lot of the vintage lace. I love this, by the way. I absolutely love this material. This is cotton. That's it. That is a huge, this was not a sample. This was a full on big old haul. That is so beautiful, Deb. Thank you so much for everything. Like I can't even tell you how grateful I am. Like I, I have no words besides what I'm saying, but like thank you so much for sending me this happy mail. It meant so much to me, so much. And I know I don't have to because you've told me before, but I still, I definitely want to send you something back because I just feel wrong for accepting all of this. I just am blown away. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything so, so much. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it, um, it inspires you to go out and thrift shop or go to a, um, an estate sale. I know a lot of you already do. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I will see you guys in tomorrow's Making It Monday video. I will see you then. I hope you guys have a great evening. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment. I know I'm backed up on a lot of comments right now, but don't worry, I will be getting to it. I hope you guys have a great night. See you later. Bye.